Hello, Pascal Moscato here. Welcome back into another video. In today's video, we will see how to characterize a character in Motion Builder. And to do that, we will learn how to create the Motion Builder character from a skeleton and why it's important to keep the 90 degree stance pose before characterizing your character. So let's start. To start this tutorial, I'm gonna use the biped skeleton from tutorial folder, uh, this one right here. And I'm using this one because this is an unconventional skeleton for motion builder. And then we are gonna see another one, bone skeleton here, which already has everything we need um, to make our life more easy. So in terms of uh, a biped skeleton like this, this is coming from 3ds Max. And you can see, for example, that the hip is named pelvis and the leg is l tight calf foot and also another big difference would be with the arms so it's called clavicle instead of shoulder up arm for arm and l end so those are very important you will see why in just a minute so now that we know that let's just go into character drag and drop the character node on the character on the bone itself and here we have an error and that's perfectly fine it's because we don't have the good naming convention so we're gonna look into this the reason why you want to drop it on the, the skeleton it's because it's gonna fill out this sheet with as much as recognized object as possible so in this case he has recognized the spine object and put it in the the form right here if i go down you see the neck has been found too the head has been found um, and all the spine objects all of the neck objects, this long neck right here. We don't have to do it manually, which would be a lot of work to do. All right. So let's start with the base. This is uh, required absolutely to create a rig. If you have that, you can create a rig. So in this case, we have the pelvis, which is the hip. Then we have L tight for left up leg, calf for left leg, foot for left foot then do the same with the right one left upper arm for left arm forearm forearm left hand ln so you got to do that for all of the objects so now that we have the base we could create we could characterize and create the rig right away we have the basic to create a rig. But it's not enough, there's a lot more um, object in the skeleton and we wanna use all of it. It's a long job, you simply have to use all of the, the bone object and put it in the form. Uh, normally, you should be able to add everything that is uh, standard with no problem, which I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so now that my character definition is completed, I simply have to click on characterize, use the type of character that I'm creating, in this case it's a biped, and create a control rig. I'm gonna create an FKIK. And voila, I have a character. But there is one thing, one very important thing with Motion Builder. The stance right here is wrong. N never do a stance with the arms following the body. Always create a stance that is 90 degrees. So now we have to fix that. So I uh, delete the control rig, remove the characterization. And what you want to do is do this pose right here from the panel, which is 90 degrees like this. So that looks good. Okay, perfectly flat. 90 degree distance, a real T. Now you can characterize that character and create the control rig. This is how your character should look like in the T stance pose that we see right now. This is for retargeting, very important to always use that. So that was the long version for a character that doesn't 
follow the naming convention that motion better needs so that might happen with the maya character you you have created um, by yourself or if you use biped from 3ds max but there's another way to do it and this way is a lot easier so in this case i'm gonna go back into the tutorial and merge my bone skeleton from the tutorial folder and as you can see it's already all uh, well done the 90 degrees so with this skeleton the good thing because the naming is already good you can see left arm which is exactly the same name as in this um, character definition right here we got left arm left forearm with an capital a exactly the same thing uh, because it follows the same naming convention it's going to be super easy simply having to uh, select the character and drag and drop on the bone use characterize we are already at the phase of creating biped quadruped it's already good if we look at the character definition of this character everything has been filled out for us the spine the legs the arms uh, all of the, um, the fingers everything is there so I simply have to hit create and my, my character is ready ready to go so that's it for today's video I hope you've learned something new today do not hesitate to ask questions in the comments leave a thumbs up if you enjoy the content and do not hesitate to share with a friend and as always I'll see you in the next one la prochaine